and welcome to PCSB and Beyond, where we talk with Providence College students whose studies take place both inside and outside of the Ryan Center for Business Studies and discuss how this has impacted them both inside and outside the classroom. We're here today with current student Seamus Kroll. Thanks for joining us today, Seamus. To kick things off, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, thanks for having me, Madison. Excited to kind of go on this little journey with you here. Uh, yeah, my name is Seamus Kroll. I'm a junior. I'm from Glastonbury, Connecticut, but I just recently moved to Rhode Island. So I'm right in Madison's backyard, actually. Um, here on campus, I am pretty involved. I am a business management major and a finance and Spanish minor. I am a member of our admissions ambassadors program here at PC, the Student Alumni Association, um, as well as Delta Sigma Pi, our professional business fraternity here on campus and also the Office of Academic Services as a writing tutor, uh, also with Madison. Um, and I also just want to shout out that this weekend was a lot of fun too, because I'm sure as Madison's familiar, we had our Golden Friars reunion, as well as a lot of admission things, admissions related things happening here on campus. So got to get really active in a lot of the things I'm participating in here on campus this weekend. Awesome. Can you tell us a bit about your major and your minor here at PC? Yeah, so obviously, Business management is kind of like I decided to come in thinking kind of business undecided. Ended up really, really liking management. I took what I believe was the second year Management 101 was offered. I was taught by Dr. Matthew Erickson, chair of the department, and I loved it. So I wanted to stick with management. Um, but since then, I just really liked the finance classes that I had to take. So I picked up that finance minor last year, actually, towards the beginning of second semester. So now I'm taking a lot more of my finance classes this year. And I also did, I just took about, let's say, four or five-ish years of Spanish from middle school to high school. And I really, really liked it, as well as I went abroad my senior year of high school. So I wanted to stick with that, and I decided to kind of just put them all together here. So here we are. Awesome. So what do you like about your combination of majors and minors? I really like it because I think it lets me have a lot of, like, a lot of options in the future. It doesn't really limit me. Uh, management and finance aren't so limiting in the sense that like I would have to go right after college to get my CPA exam for like an accountant per se. Not that there's anything wrong with that just for me. Uh, I'm very indecisive. So it's hard for me to know exactly what I want to do after college. I know I really like to work with people in a like professional setting. So I could see myself doing something with you know commercial real estate or some kind of like recruiting HR maybe. Um, and I know I really enjoy that and finance and management will help me out with that. But uh, that Spanish piece is also really nice too because um, I really love Spanish and um, an internship I have coming up in the future, which is a talent acquisition man or a talent acquisition internship. Um, I'm going to be able to use my Spanish with some of the workers at my the company I'll be working for, which is something I'm really looking forward to doing. That's awesome. Can you tell us a bit more about that internship or is it still like in the preliminary stages? It's still in the preliminary stages, but um, the company is really great uh, for my local Rhode Islanders, New Englanders. It's with Blount Fine Foods, which is a seafood company here uh, based in Rhode Island, but now it's based in Massachusetts, actually. It was founded in Rhode Island in Warren, where I live now, actually. So grew up going today, have a little clam shack um, and a friend told me to apply. So um, I applied. It's for their corporate office in Fall River, and I'll be working in the HR department with talent acquisition. So I will be um, getting people's like resumes, cover letters coming to me and kind of vetting them in their application process, as well as calling them and making sure um, they're like feeling okay about everything related to applying for new jobs. Blount is a really cool company. It's very family oriented, like PC kind of, we have that Friar family and they have not their Blount family, but very, very uh, much a big family over there. And they really stress about making sure everyone who's applying is confident in that. And they've been really great about keeping me in the loop. So I'm really excited uh, to start that internship up during the spring semester. This next That's semester. awesome. That sounds like a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of turning back to um, your combination of majors and minors, um, what has studying both inside and outside of the business school taught you? Um, do you feel that your business classes help you with your non-business classes and vice versa? Yeah, definitely. Even just before my Spanish minor, I think CIV is a great program and professors are always saying, oh, you never know, you're going to be able to make these connections later on. And maybe that like couple, like first semester of freshman year, I'm thinking, I don't know how like the Iliad is going to help me do any of this, but I've definitely seen a great improvement in my writing skills, which is just super important anywhere um, with Spanish, especially 
uh, there's such a big emphasis on diversity, geographic diversity, just different kind of demographics in the work environment. And as a management major, that's also super important. So uh, we talk about in like organizational behavior, for example, which is one of the management courses. We talk a lot about uh, diversity in the workplace and how it really um, changes the atmosphere of a workplace and makes it really more um, efficient and productive as well as just a more healthy environment. So um, it's really cool to see that in some of my Spanish classes. And I've also been able to take um, Spanish for business. So I've actually been able to take a course where both of those were combined. So that was a really cool way to see how um, even local businesses in Rhode Island was what we focused on. So it was a cool way to see how some of those kind of business elements and a lot of kind of important vocab about business in Spanish could translate over. So that way, when I'm doing some business in the future, um, Spanish involved or not, it'll be able to help me with that. But um, it's definitely just helped me become a more proficient writer, definitely opened my eyes to a lot of different diversity related issues and things happening in the workplace. Um, and overall, even just those liberal arts core classes that we have to take are super, super helpful. And I think what's really important is they, they teach you to think so you get better at um, learning and thinking on your feet in, in new environments, what, regardless of what the job is. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I know you touched on this a bit earlier when you were talking about that upcoming internship. Um, but how has this combination of majors and minors helped you outside of the classroom? Um, has what you've been studying here at PC led you to any unique experiences or to consider a particular career? Yeah, I know we talked about that internship. I would say that's by far like the coolest or unique, most unique experience. So I'm definitely really excited about, you know, being able to use my Spanish in the workplace. Other than that, though, just being able to go abroad in the future, I'm really looking forward to doing a May master after this, this semester or this spring semester. So uh, upcoming May. Um, and I don't know whether or not they'll be having business students do internships for that, but um, I'll be excited to kind of keep an eye out now because when I went in high school, I went abroad um, and, you know, I was very wide eyed, but now I'll be kind of expecting certain things when I go back and I can kind of take some of those things that I've learned in some of my business classes and just in college overall and be able to kind of apply those to kind of when I'm looking out at the world. But other than that, we have 50 million Spanish speakers here in the United States. And I feel like if anything, it's just opened so many doors for me, you know, just like overhearing conversations in Spanish and being able to pick up on them has been really cool. Um, and I think it's really important to just in any kind of workplace situation, uh, you know, your boss might be a native Spanish speaker, you might be having coworkers who are native Spanish speakers. Um, and I just, I think it's really, really helpful when it comes to that sort of thing. And it's just made me really, really well-rounded, I feel like. And yeah. I've also thought about, you know, working abroad in the future. I think that'd be a really, really cool opportunity. Not sure if that's exactly where I want to end up, but I think that'd be really awesome too. Yeah, that's awesome. So it definitely seems like, you know, be, your combination of majors and minors, um, you know, it's not only helping you with your experiences right now, but even as you're looking, you know, far off into the future, um, that is really kind of shaping what you're thinking of. So that's awesome. Um, so final question, what do you think are the benefits of combining business and non-business studies? I think there are so many, there's too many to count. I, I know it does sound Kind of corny He's always saying you know like what's the benefit of that liberal arts education and everything but i think it is really important that all students whether they're in the business school or not just remain about how um like remain aware of the world around us and i think doing this and with me being in spanish classes and learning about the diversity in my management classes again it's just made me a more well-rounded person i feel like i've been able to kind of learn from those experiences more when i have you know my spanish teachers are all native speakers sharing some of their like real world experiences as um, you know, non-native um, English speakers in the United States. Um, but I will say the PCSB does a great job teaching students about the inequalities in the workplace and the impact of diversity as well in the workplace. But I do think overall just combining these studies together is just really, really important to, again, keep people aware of, you know, the outside world. And I also just think to back to that like liberal arts piece that classes like English and philosophy are super important also because, again, they teach people how to think. I think one of the biggest things, regardless of where you end up in your workplace, is just being able to, um, A, stay true to yourself and, you know, make ethical decisions about anything, but also um, be able to be uh, moldable and learn in any situation, which I think Providence does a really great job of doing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today.